Hi friends, it's Miss T here. How are you all doing? We miss you guys, miss seeing you guys at school, but hopefully we'll be back soon together. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you're having lots of fun at home. Um, and we look forward to seeing you guys on our video chat meetings uh, on Mondays and Tuesdays. In the meantime, today I'm going to be reading you a book. The title of this book is called Giraffe Can't Dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim. Can you see that? But his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. Wow, look at that, a big party. Very colorful. Um, and this year, uh, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when he came to dance, when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. Aw. The warthog started waltzing. There they are. And the rhinos rock and rolled. Wow. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. Oh yeah. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald shallowed bravely as he walked towards the door, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Aww. <laughs> Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted at the spot to the to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off the dance floor and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. <clears throat> then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier, earlier on, but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Hmm, interesting. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. That's nice. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. Wow, his hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently sw swaying and his tail was swooshing around. Look at that. Hmm, look at Gerald go. Nice. He threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backwards somersault and he leapt up in the air. Wow, look at him. <clears throat> Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I'm dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I'm dancing, Gerald cried. Oh, look at him. He's so happy. That's great. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. Wow. Wow. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever seen. We've ever, ever seen. Wow, look at him go. 
and look at them lined up sitting down watching him because he's doing so well. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. He's taking a bow and look, they're throwing flowers at him because he did so well. <clears throat> then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find the music that we love. That's so nice. The end. Sometimes you just need to find the music that you love. And sometimes you just need to give it a try, right? Even if you think you can't do it, um, you can give it a try. And then, who knows? You'll, do, you'll be great at it. All right, friends. I'll see you next time. Bye.